I don't understand how hey, we're being annoying. These here. guys walked in. How the room. are we being annoying? Hey, Matt walked in. Let him know. We back. Jordan. It was a who's joke. The, bro. Who's the sack leader in the NFL now? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, y'all kids are so annoying. Hey, I just got one thing. You to do say. that shit every week. Yeah, I'm annoying. Okay. It takes one to know <laughs> one. You guys are annoying with me. <laughs> What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Barbershop Break Room. Matt and Jordan are already on fucking bullshit. And I almost let some fire Who? takes go off camera. Who? But there was no way I was wasting it. Welcome back to episode 58. Nine. 59 Nine. or 60? 59. 59. Who is on 59. Bullshit? Shout out to our sponsors, W Energy and Diamond Bets. Use code BARBER to get 10% off on W and 15% off for... Oh, Barbershop is the code. 15% off on Diamond Bets. Sorry, I fucked that up. All right. Why are y'all being so annoying already? I don't understand how we're being annoying. These guys walked in. How are we being annoying? Hey, Matt walked in. Let them know. We back. Jordan. It was a joke, Who's the sack leader in the NFL now? (laughs) (laughs) Yo, y'all kids are so annoying. Hey, I just got one thing to say. You do that shit every week. Yeah, I'm annoying. It takes one to know one. (laughs) You guys are annoying with me. (laughs) But listen, these cats walk in and say that, Derek. Hey, beating them is our Super Bowl, but they in the fucking, in the locker room. It's a parade in my city throwing towels and fucking jumping and shit. Nah, 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 nah. That's that's John Moran, bro. bro. Walk in your trap, take over your trap. Hey. It's been that for years. Jake Browning and was fucking heel clicking, pin dropping, celebrating. (laughs) It's been that for the years, bro. With Jake Browning, and y'all acting it's been like that. that. For, they show one dude dancing, and the it one. was Nick Herbig, and that's he got his first career. This sack. motherfucker was doing the worm, bro. <laughs> I didn't see nobody doing hey, the worm. Hey, look, but it's okay for him to do that, and he got his first career sack. And DTR gets first career win, and they're like, "Why are you over there crying?" <laughs> My dude wasn't crying; he was dancing. This motherfucker was doing a worm, bro, over a sack. <laughs> Get the I didn't fuck see out no of worm. Here. Imagine being that much hey, of a bum. Hey, 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 does it hurt? What? To be that much of a hater? I'm not hating. Yes, you are. I'm not hating. I'm Don't, giving you, you can't tell me you're not I'm hating. You the same, and, hey, I'm giving y'all the same energy y'all gave us last week. Y'all did That's exactly the, this. No, we didn't. Whoa, it's crazy. It's all recorded. That's cool. We can and go we can, back and look. Hey, That's Jordan, sweet. Hey, Let's go back. Jordan walked in hating. I mean, it's that kid with the fits cutie pick at this. We need to let this dude go. The Browns is the Browns. All right, anyways, we can move on. Jordan, get to your icebreaker. I'm about to say, you didn't, even hear, you didn't even hear my tape. I don't want to. I think we had nice. All right. So you have a million dollars on the line. Hater. But if they miss, you're dead. Steph Curry to make a free throw or Justin Tucker to make a 40-yard field goal. Steph. Steph to make a All free day. throw. Justin Tucker could slip. <laughs> slip and miss? I might take He missed a 30-yarder last week. The yeah, other day. but like the percentages on how little he missed. I know Steph is a 90% career free throw shooter. Justin Tucker might be 90% from 40 in. Wait. They probably made that Wait a graphic minute. because Quick the, question. the stats or the percentage is probably the same. Yeah, it's probably. probably I'm going Justin Hold Tucker. Hold on one second. Is it like a live game or is it just... Just the... Just messing around, just hanging just around. Just hanging around. Just oh. empty field, empty, empty arena. Empty arena, bro. Steph might make 300 free throws in a row. He made how many threes? Yeah, he in a made row? like 97 threes in a row. I'm a Steph hater, so I'm going with Justin Tucker just because. I mean, I don't think you're going wrong either way. Can we look at the percentages on Justin Tucker it's from 40 yards same. in? From 40 yards in? I have Steph's free throw percentage all the time. It's like 90. 90.9. Yeah, I was about to say. I and that's in the game. And when he's in running game, around. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Oh, he's a phenomenal <laughs> free throw shooter, bro. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's the definition of knockdown. I'm going Steph. I'm going Even Justin Tucker just because I'm a hater. He's a 80.8%. Ah, I'm going 40 Steph. or lower. <laughs> ah, feel like I should uh, recant that statement. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with Steph too. Ah, damn it. You you know, the, hey. say, wait, hold on. Say those stats again because I was showing the camera. I just exited it out. 80.8%. Reopen close 80.8% Justin Tucker is from 40 yards in. Steph Curry is 90.9% from the free throw line. Thank you. And you had the camera on me the whole time instead of him saying it. It's all right. Because <laughs> I, was, I was hoping you'd remember. You're the one that pulled no, it up. I and, right it and I just it. forgot to You got a hood on? What were you going to say? No, that is a hood under there. Yeah. I'm like, why did I come up so high in the back? I didn't know. <laughs> I thought it was. Um, <laughs> I was not, uh, listen, when, when was it? Last week. The Ravens game. I was watching. Oh, was that Sunday Night Football? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. I was watching a game by myself. Wife went to bed. Man, this cat. 
Justin Tucker like celebrated one of them. He hit like a short field goal in the beginning of the game. Mm -hmm. That shit pissed me off so bad. Like he, I was mad. Like sitting <laughs> in the living room by myself, he was like celebrating and shit. Like bro, you knew you were about to make that shit. <laughs> like you, you celebrate every shot you make. He's getting the team hype. Hey, Odell Beckham celebrate like, every time he catch the fucking ball. <laughs> Every that cat can catch a two yard slant and get up fucking celebrate. I'm like, this cat is corny, bro. He get on my nerves. Yeah, Justin just Duggar kicks in a 25 yard field goal. Bang, 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 baby. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? I mean, I'm like, right, I feel you got, like, like kickers the, always celebrate you're like, when they make it though. You're like top 15 in points in Thanks. NFL history. Thanks. Top 20 maybe something like that in history of the NFL. And you're celebrating a 30 yard field goal in a Sunday meaningless Sunday night game. Facts that you're gonna win, um, like a little bit of like yeah, like high five teammate. That's cool, but like this dude like turn around was like doing guns and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Can we uh stay on that same topic? Look like Tiger Chargers. Woods made a fucking putt. Can we stay on that same topic of Chargers and Ravens and just go into a quick? We haven't done this segment in a while. Can we go into a quick who won you money and who lost you money because Zay Flowers. And the Chargers are both dead to me. I almost released Zay Flowers this morning for that bullshit he pulled. I don't give a fuck if he's a rookie and that's only his first touchdown on U.S. soil and then he gets a second opportunity. You fucking go down, okay? The fact that he had the nerve to run his fucking black ass into that end zone and break the fuck. I had Chargers plus seven and a half. <laughs> and I had the under. The under looks great. Chargers are only losing by, what, three at that time? Yeah. <laughs> Feeling good. It's 13-10. Wearing the group chat talking. I was trying you know? to put my – I could. I should have just put my house on the under. Yeah. <laughs> All of us just were in the, the group under. chat talking except for uh, one guy. Who? Oh, Derek, yeah. You know, he doesn't do anything at all with well, anybody. There's a reason. I wasn't no, he left the, I group, left chat. the group chat. No, it wasn't that group chat. It was our Gamblers Anonymous group chat. Still. But, um, been able to. We'll, we'll talk about that, too. But <laughs> – I'm thinking I'm safe. You know, I'm like, hey, like Matt said, first, get a first down here, run the clock out, game's over. They're not trying to score. They're just trying to get the clock out. Third down. Get their cock out. The, <laughs> run the clock out. With their cock out. <laughs> I would prefer to. Wait, what was the score at that time? Wasn't it 13 10? Yeah. It was something very low. Yeah, yeah was, I had. It was 13 10. I had. You had Chargers four plus four. Oh, four. <laughs> well, it doesn't, we both got fucked like third, all the way around. Third and eight. <laughs> why he do that? Like, <laughs> why he do that? Like, why you got to break off a fucking 30 yard run like that? I wish somebody would have sniped him. But bro, I was praying that dude's going to get him at the one yard line. They're just going to knee it out. I was like, come. and then the worst part was we still had like a minute left. I'm like, they can go down and score. That was abysmal what they did. <laughs> Listen, to quote <laughs> Dylan Baker, Justin Herbert is a sorry bitch. <laughs> Isn't that how D Bake talks? Yeah. Like that, I don't want to yeah. say he's a sorry bitch, but because like he has had he has talent, but like fuck man. He be doing dumb the, shit. I had a parlay was last night's game. I had Justin Fields over seven and a half rushing attempts. Uh DJ Moore over four and a half receptions. And then TJ Hawkinson. For whatever reason, does ESPN bet not let you do alternate No, they don't have ESPN alternate. That is the worst bet fucking sucks. thing. Yeah, because fresh. the lowest for TJ, I wanted plus 50, which he got. The lowest was 53 and a half. Oh, and he got and 50 he, on the dot. I have 49. And I would have hit. I have 49 and a half. The only other one that, really the only one that I hit was Christian McCaffrey, longest rush over 15 and a half yards, and that hit. You know, I didn't look at this times. because I saw one leg end before the rest of the parlay finished. Every other leg fucking hit. A I had a 20. Ain't that <laughs> It's a $600 Parlay and Anthony Davis killed it by three points. Listen, bro, the Lakers suck. <laughs> no. I, got, I had him for twenty plus and eight plus rebounds. He got eleven rebounds and seventeen points. The Lakers suck, bro. Like, he was going against Joel Embiid. Yeah, that's one of my topics. Is uh, that is LeBron's worst loss of his career. He also had one hundred and thirty-eight no to ninety-four. Yeah, lost by forty-four, or was it forty-eight? Forty-four, I think it was. He, Worst loss in his career at year 21. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay, so I did have that as a topic. Uh, are the Lakers in trouble? So, uh, I mean, we can have a conversation about it. I'll answer my own question. Yes, they are. <laughs> Darvin Ham is trash. <clears throat> I can't believe I had the nerve to pick that dude for coach of the year. <laughs> like, what the fuck? They are terrible. Did you expect Darvin Ham to be the coach? 
because LeBron and all the coaches he had. Oh, the, okay. I was like, what type of question? Blatt was, was terrible, <laughs> but he still took him to the. Did you just say Black was terrible? Blatt. 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 Yeah, I, I was thrown off Blatt. at first. Blatt. 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 <laughs> that, that is he went racist. in the finals with him. I thought he was and saying all of his coaches he, have been black. And I was no, like, no, no, no. But he took him to the finals and got rid of him. He's like, yeah, he's trash. Get him out of here. It doesn't matter who's coach, really. But now it kind of matters because LeBron can't fucking carry a team. So He's not supposed to carry a team. There, there are coaches who legitimately coach, obviously. Steve Kerr coaches. I like, like Whether you think it or not, like Steve Kerr coaches. Greg Vogel's Popovich a better coaches. coach than But him. sometimes teams are so talented, all the coach has to do is be like a bad quarterback, manage the game, call timeouts when the other team is on a 10-0 run. Proper rotations, switching screens sometimes, little shit like that. Like, they might have to drop a play for the last shot, but managing a game as far as don't let a league get out of hand, don't let a dude get into foul trouble, pull him out if he's got two in the first quarter. Just little simple shit sometimes. Darvin Ham does not do that at all. I mean, my dude was holding on to timeouts yesterday for play. fucking dear life. Let him play. They're on a 15 to like two run, and that motherfucker's just standing on the sideline looking at the game. I'm like, are you a fucking fan or a coach, bro? Call <laughs> a fucking timeout. I'm in my living room like this. Call a timeout, bro. What are you doing? Like, he sucks. Yeah, it's still the coach of the year somehow, though. Probably not. You guys have anything about that? I didn't watch, so I don't know. I don't watch basketball. Well, I watched basketball. I just didn't watch that game. <laughs> All right. Got nothing. I was watching the Wizards-Pistons game. That's a weird game to watch. I had money on it. <laughs> what the fuck? That's an even weirder <laughs> thing to say. <laughs> I, well, I had, I had, listen, I had pro, uh, player props. I only I missed by one leg. I needed Cade Cunningham to hit one more three. It never opened for me, so I only took Kuzis, but it hit. Yeah, I know. I had... Um, Bro, Timberwolves are first in the West is insane. Anthony Edwards is balling this year. I had Cade Cun- Cunningham. Still, you wouldn't think they'd. Or OKC to be number two. Over. F- no, Marco? you're good. You're good. You're good. Over five and a half assists. Kyle Kuzma over one and a half three pointers. And Daniel Gafford over nine rebounds. Or over eight and a half rebounds. The only one I did him was. And Cade. then Cade Cunningham. Cade blew it. Plus 934 odds. Damn. All right. Kate Cunningham needed three pointers and he hit three three pointers. He hit two. Yeah, that's pain. So all, all bef- around me. Before we get off basketball topics, I know Fuck basketball. half this room doesn't watch basketball. Um, whoa, I saw whoa, a graphic. Whoa, 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 whoa. Half. I said half, yeah. Mm. Who's the half? He don't watch TV, so he doesn't watch basketball. Oh. And he doesn't watch basketball. Oh. You can dude, fucking show him a graphic season, of 50 ready. players right now, and he'd probably get 10% of them. Football season's over, dude. I'm ready for basketball. Anyways, <laughs> um, I seen a graphic and it said, which one, of these, which one of these players... But which one of these players would you push to the bench? SGA. Do you know who that is? Yes. Okay. Tyrese Halliburton. Glizzy. Do you know who that is? Yes. <laughs> Anthony Edwards. I know Ooh. who that is. And De'Aaron Fox. Ah, <laughs> got me on that one. Who? What? He's kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said ah, got me on that one. Who are you pushing to the bench out of those four players? Matt, you know ball. Go. That's that's really tough. I like have to know my team. <laughs> oh, you don't know well, your team at all. You can't because they're just, all like you the gotta same. push one dude to the bench. Who are you pushing to the bench? I know who I am. Do you? Yeah, you're Derek Rose. Yeah, I know too. <laughs> okay, well, I'll, Matt, you take a second. To all right, think. go ahead. Let me Derek actually goes. think about it instead of throwing out a name. I'd probably say De'Aaron Fox. Okay, because SGA is playing great this year. Swipe. They're playing great. I know. It's it's hard because it's, it's t- like you're you choosing have, your doom either way. You can't way. have a wrong answer, I feel like. Um, Go ahead. Anthony, Anthony Edwards has proven me wrong because he's playing fucking out of his mind. Tyrus Halliburton's a out great playmaker. <laughs> Tyrus Halliburton's a great playmaker, so I think I think he's a top, easily, I think he's a top three guard. He's going the crazy league. this I'm year. He is lie. having a really so, good season. He is. Darren Fox, I'm sorry, buddy, from what I've seen in the playoffs. I know Sabonis didn't help you very much. I was about to say, he was <laughs> I know Sabonis didn't help you very much, but I'm sorry. Okay. Jordy? I'm just going to say Halliburton because I fucking hate the Pacers. <laughs> All right. As an organization. 
enjoy the I don't f- know why. I don't watch basketball. I just fucking... Why do you hate I see the Pacers? Those, that is a really random team to hate. The, I'm not going to lie bro, to you. You should be like right strokes. behind them. It's not like they'd be winning or anything. <laughs> they're just there. They're just there. Yeah, like, they're just, they don't I think, it's, I think it's the blue pinstripes that just piss me off. <laughs> I mean, they were so bad at one point that one of their players was literally trying to sell himself to another team to trade for him. You remember when Miles Turner yeah. was like, so I'm the Lakers, I'm trading for me. Yeah. <laughs> like, he made like TikToks about it and shit. That's crazy. Yeah. Matt? Uh, I gotta say De'Aaron Fox too. Oh, De'Aaron, no. I know, I don't want to because I like him, but the way Halliburton's playing right now, that I feel like that's your only other option. It's one of them too. You can't take Edwards off, and you can't take SGA off. I don't know. Well, I feel like that question should have been a little harder because it pains me to say. You all know I'm a, a Kentucky alumni. I have to uh, cut De'Aaron Fox as well. Very good player. Damn it, Jordan. But uh, Anthony Edwards is very elite on defense. He can score with the best of them. Halliburton is the best playmaker out of all of those dudes by far. And he can put up 25, 30 for you. SGA is probably the best all-around player in that group. So, yeah, De'Aaron Fox, unfortunately, he has to go. All right, next topic. That one pained me. Michigan won their Super Bowl. Jordan, go ahead. Get, get off game. <laughs> he got happy. Hey, I'm just saying. So, Super Bowl until we win the Natty, so. Yeah, okay. We said I went last year. Um, yeah, continue, though. So, how does it feel to be an Ohio State fan with three straight losses? I know being a Michigan fan, having, what was it, eight straight? That sucked. Um, how does the three feel? Well. It's not comparable to the eight, but. I mean, how did you feel as a Steelers fan when the Browns. That's not the question. Why are you answering a question with a question? Because I want to know how you felt. <laughs> I'm asking That's you, though. <laughs> I'm asking how you feel. Okay, I feel like a Steelers fan. When they say, like, <laughs> we're your daddy. We're, like, 27-3-1 over the last 30 matchups. So, yeah, it's like you won three, but it's like we've won 300. So, yeah, every – But, like, if we go way back, I mean, if we're going – Let's talk about – You don't want to watch. You want to – wait, 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 wait. you talking about going way back. That's if what we're talking do. about going 300 Let's talk about back, while we're alive. Let's talk about the all – while we're alive, the all time. Ohio State, or, uh, Even while you're alive, no, probably Brown, Michigan got a win. No, Brown, no, nah, Brown Steelers. Uh, Brown Steelers play twice a year though, so there's way more. Yeah, for oh, sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. No, I'm talking about Ohio State, Michigan. Though. I know, so am I. Yeah, I mean, if you want to ask how we feel, I mean, yeah, we lost. I mean, it is what it is. You, Michigan's a good team. They've had good recruiting classes over the last. That's couple all seasons. I wanted to hear. And um, <laughs> yeah, even a trash can gets a steak, bro. Yeah, three I mean, times in a row. Yeah, like. You know, if I don't finish my steak, my wife doesn't, and my kids don't, we just all throw it away. There's three steaks for you right there. (laughs) So this isn't really a question for Dante because he's a fake Ohio State fan. But uh, Matt, what needs to change for Ohio State? Like, are you on the bandwagon to fire Ryan Day or are you like... Stay uh, with it. I don't like how uh, I just got deemed as a fake fan like that. (laughs) I'm not a fan of Ohio State, I'll tell you that. I I honestly, I just, I really don't know. I just feel like... There was a lot of things not up to par. Hey, fuck that. Okay, listen. No. Tom McCord had a decent game. I don't ah. like how you just called me a fake fan. I'm fucking taking over. This guy can kick rocks. Anyways, Kyle McCord didn't have a terrible game. He didn't have a phenomenal game. Dude's a true freshman. He played. He didn't play phenomenal, but he didn't play terrible. He managed the game. He made throws when he needed to, and he threw a costly pick at the end. At the end of the day, Michigan has an elite defense and an elite defensive line, and the pressure got to him. Simple as that. Our defense didn't play as well as they should have, but they made stops when they needed to and gave our offense an opportunity to actually make plays to win the game, and they did it. Yeah. How's that for a fake fan? Ohio, Nigga. Ohio State. I mean, anybody could watch the game and say they were a fan of that team. Then why don't you want to but ask my question? Why, that was why a, you want to ask my question? Uh, that was a good analysis. Um, I'm going to be honest. I thought it was over when Ohio State got the ball back. When I mean, you guys were right down the field. And I'm a fake fan. And you count your team out when others. I wasn't counting my team out, but when you have the best receiver in college football making plays, and that's who he was trying to force the ball to on that last throw. He uh, he was open. Yeah, he was open. I mean, yeah, he was open, but he missed the throw. I mean, he got got hit. hit. Like the ball was short. Like he was he was falling backwards, and the dude literally sat almost sacked him, and he threw it out, and it was just way too short. Yeah. Do you agree with all of the fans that are making excuses for the game? What are the excuses? I was going to say, what are the um, excuses? They're circling what is his, is, it is um, more, I forget his f- first name, but his elbow, the dude that made the pick. They're circling his elbow and saying, dude, 
wasn't even a pick. Look at the ball. It's bouncing on the ground right here. When Oh, when he at the end of the game? Yeah. It's uh, clearly right. his elbow. No, he, he it was a pick. Yeah, it's a pick. Yeah. I, I agree it was a pick too. Like all there's a, just Twitter going crazy with a bunch of fans like trying to make excuses and I make mean, like, like, reasons. I mean the, any team loses every, there are excuses. I the, mean the touchdown to Roman Wilson, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know. I don't I'll take it, but I don't know if that was the right call. What do you what? mean? Yeah, I mean JJ I, when they took dog. the ball away. Yeah, and they I, oh, that was like an interception. Minutes. Oh. Yeah, that was an interception. That you I uh, I'll take I think it, it, I I think it was an interception. I think that was an interception. Too, but you still have to make plays down the stretch as an offense. Yeah, well, that's not an excuse to why Ohio State lost, but if you ask me about the individual play, I don't care what game it is. That, that's an NFL game that I don't have a dollar on. That's an interception. That's I mean, I'm not an NFL referee. So, of course, I'm just a guy on the podcast. Neither are those shit. guys. But, um, I mean, I'm sorry, college referee. <laughs> Um, shit, some of those kidding. dudes probably <laughs> reffing in NFL. They, none of those dudes are full time. They yeah. might. <laughs> um, the college refs are full time and they make fucking bank. I think that was definitely an interception, though. Yeah, like, yeah, like I, I said, I'll take it. I don't know if it was the right call, but I'll take it. Like the ball never like stayed in the same spot. That's I mean, when he crossed the plane, he didn't have clear. Possession. It was like the ball was moved. He had it here, then it was here, then it was up here, and then all of a sudden, the Ohio State dude had it. Yeah, I think that was a pick. Or yeah. an incomplete pass, but I don't think you should call that a touchdown. But that's not why they lost. All right, let's move on to something else. You don't want well, that. I'll no. let him have his moment. Is it okay, a coincidence or not that the Steelers' first game with over 400 offensive yards since September 20th, 2020, is the first game after Matt Canada's fired? Go on, Matt. Uh, hold on. Hold look, on. he just hold got on. so happy. Hold look on. at his smile on his All right, face. It's 10-24. You have until <laughs> Shut 10. Up, look Max. at his face. Don't he got put no so time happy. limit on me. No, you, you, so you missed our conversation prior to because you were late. People are complaining about us talking about the Steelers. Well, shut the fuck up. Sorry, Browns fans. Who's complaining? It wasn't Browns fans. One was, one was a Steelers fan. What was he right? complaining well, about? They said we talk too much about the Steelers. Oh, they can go to hell. Hey, I'm with you. Clip that. <laughs> Hey, I'm with you. Don't I, listen. What the fuck? I tell right, people, go, go hey, we don't have just double tap the right listen. side. It skips, don't listen. It skips forward 10 seconds at a time. Okay, so what was the question again? Is it a coincidence? Yeah. That we, okay. Um, no, it's not a coincidence at all. Um, I think that they we actually just decided that, hey, let's take some shots downfield. Let's push the ball. Let's throw the ball to the middle of the field. Yep. But – that being said, I'm still not sold on my guy Kenny. Agree. Um, he had a decent game. He still he missed a lot of throws. Still, like that, just our head scratchers. Like, what the fuck? Can I interject? Did you watch the JT Sullivan? Did you watch the new Kenny Pickett? He had another one today or last night. Oh yeah, I gotta watch because yeah. that shit was That'll hard. That'll break as fuck. it down for you better. That was hard, but like he he missed a lot of throws and he missed a, a couple of reads that just I saw from the naked eye watching the game. Like not he and not thing. an aerial view, not nothing like that. Like just watching the game, he did play better, and I'm so happy that he did play better. I don't want to be out. I don't want to hate the dude, but I mean, he played a lot better. We pushed the ball where we were supposed to, but like. Sometimes he just panics, bro. He the panics pressure. way too much. How many points did you guys score that game? Not enough. 19, 19 I think. Okay. Yeah, 400 total yards of offense. We had 19 points. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't think it was a coincidence. I think there was some different play calls in there. You can't you can't expect some dude to come in and just change the whole offense in one week, especially when it's not a bye week. We're not going to. Oh, yeah. we got new signals, new plays, new this. That's not going to happen. They just, I think they just tweaked a couple of things and told Kenny just to be comfortable and attack the middle of the field, which finally, he finally did. Do right. you think it had anything to do with the defense that you played against? Like as far as like the Bengals defense, like where they rank and everything? Uh, not because I think, well, I think they were still getting pressure and um, stuff like that. Mike Hilton was making plays. Their corners were kind of suspect, but. I think Big Pat had the most receiving yards, so and he, he wasn't even attacking any of the corners. Yeah, I was objectively right asking that question too before Jordan called me a hater because, like, for example, Deshaun had had his best two games versus the Cardinals and the Titans. Let's be real; those aren't two good defenses. So, right. you can kind of chalk. I don't know where Cincinnati ranks 20th. in their defense. Twentieth. So, I mean, they're not the bottom, but they're middle not. of the pack. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, yeah, for that's sure. That's middle of the pack. Yeah, a little above middle, but yeah. 
a little worse than middle. 32, yeah. 20. Yeah. I mean, I'm just, I'm yeah. I mean at the beginning of the season, they, they were struggling. Cincinnati was like mm-hmm. them first couple of games, like the offense was struggling to move the ball. So, I mean, that was probably tough on the defense to, mm-hmm. they were on the field a lot. I mean, yeah, you that's see what happened defense, to us. Yeah. yeah. Facts. Yeah. And that's a good thing on the offense. You guys, Kenny's not stressing like, Oh, I got to answer back. I got to answer back. Cause you know, his defense is going to fucking yeah. stop Jake Brown I was, from scoring a bunch of points. I was actually really surprised. I thought he was going to – I thought he was going to have a shitty game. Everybody was like, oh, we're going to go crazy now that man, Matt Canada's gone. I I low-key thought, like, all the pressure was going to be, like, now if we fuck up, it's my There's fault. There's no excuse. Yeah, yeah, it's my fault now if we fuck up, so I can't mess up. But he had a decent game. Do you put Better than usual. Do you put any stock in uh, Deontay Johnson's situation on the field? No, bro. That was stupid. He was clearly not looking. <laughs> he, I, and then until yeah, he, he looked, he well, still tweeted and was like. But he looked and saw the ball. But, like, usually he was he probably was just like, this dude's down. But it was a shitty look on him. That, that was terrible. Shitty. When the dude ran past him and he looked at him running yeah, and that he was, never ran, yeah, that's that was what made trash. it look bad. At first, you could tell he had no clue what was going on behind him. That's, Agreed. That's a, that was a little moment where, like, yeah, he's you, looking I mean, There's a way. bunch of players that were just standing if there. No, even, for sure. Even he Bengals didn't know what players was going were all just standing like, all right, whatever. Yep. But the Bengals the player was matching his energy. They were both standing there. Yeah, but, but then when the dude ran past him, he looked over and seen him running yeah, with the ball. That, he was just like, ah. Yeah, that was terrible. He fast. But uh, to start off the play where was he just walked off the line. Oh, he was one. You can't just walk off the line like that. Hear me out. You watch... Any NFL receiver on any Sunday, and I guarantee you say see him doing that. Guarantee it. But the problem is on a run play, already I guarantee issues. it. Guarantee it. I usually run just run them off. I guarantee you. Watch NFL. Till your eyes bleed. Uh, t- Till your eyes bleed. I'll watch. But the I, problem just is, keep your eyes out for it now that you know. The problem because it happens all the time. That's why I've George Pickens it. always throws no, dudes on their back. But the like, problem is, is that Deontay already had that little whole beef with like the Steelers and whatever was going on with him being like upset about the whole situation. Oh, the fight with Minka that. And I mean, he's just had like an attitude recently. Yeah. So like that does not help. Huh? We all think winning that fight. Minka. Yeah, Minka, but I don't think they fought. I don't mean the light bro. No, I'm saying hypothetical fight. Like I oh, it just oh, said oh, they oh. had to be pulled apart. It was a, clearly a kerfuffle. Yeah. I mean, they were like, just arguing. Yeah. Like what? Like, but if they actually like, Absolutely, Minka. Deontay doesn't even want to get hit on the field. Deontay Johnson, dark skin, though, bro. I don't care. Dark skin energy different. Okay. <laughs> All right. Minka. I'm just saying. Like, Minka showed up to the fight with his black Air Force spikes on. I'm just saying, in the summertime, when I get darker, I'll be mad aggressive for no reason. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. You remember that Test Boosters game? I was dark skin that time. Jesus. That I was. was. The, it was the Test Booster. Anything else about but the Steelers you want to get off your though. chest? Nah, it's 1030. I just um, need to know why. I I was I'm just curious of what you're talking about. About him With, not giving effort off the line of scrimmage? No, 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 no. About him having like beef or something. Because it wasn't there multiple times that was Pickens. That was that the pick, beef? Oh look, yeah, I'm getting yeah, yeah. All that the receivers was, that was were having Deontay. problems. Wow. So okay. I was thinking those oh, wrong black guy. Wow. My bad. So clip that. <laughs> wrong receivers really whatever. Black Anyways. Receiver. What Jordan sent in you the group chat. You call them the same dude every week. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> so does TikTok. And you know me personally. So does TikTok. And you know me personally. Does TikTok call you guys his name? name? They call me Bogdan. No, but yeah, that was a uh, that was Pickens. Deontay's actually Deontay's been cool because he got paid. I forgot about that. <laughs> He's, he got paid uh, for so some reason. Cool. I got I got him switched up. That dude went like five hundred days without a touchdown, and you still fine. Yeah, yeah, he got 140 like, targets close no to touchdowns. Shit. Then he finally got his one touchdown, and George Pickens ran off the field crying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jordy, my last topic. I have a game for us as well later, but we can do that separate if you want. Um, I know you still have something. I know you still have something, right? No? Okay. Um, I mean, outside of the Broncos being the hottest team in football. <laughs> yeah, we can talk about that first if you want to, because my topic is about the AFC, so we can talk about the Broncos. I would. It's not even a shot at you guys. I mean, Wait, they just won five straight. No, they, they are have the, to be the hottest team in football. They so are the what, one in five, another six and five. They're the they're hottest the, team. The second. Yeah, I still think the, the Eagles, Eagles are the hottest team in football. But it was funny. They're fucking ten and one. Shout out to Dylan Baker. Uh, another shout out to him. That's like his favorite thing to say. Is somebody is the hottest team in a sport? Oh yeah, and especially when he's betting on them. When the game ended and they went to like Fox, like the little um, post game show, the first thing he said was. <laughs> the hottest team in football, the Denver Broncos. And I was just like, get the fuck out of here. Um, nah, dude, they are, man. Sean Payton and Russell Wilson are 
They're doing what they need to do, bro. Yeah. Samaji P. Ryan look like Jonathan Taylor. Adrian Peterson, bro. Like, bro. They're fake. <laughs> what the fuck? The, the only reason that Frauds. I see the Broncos are even hotter than the Eagles, Frauds. Eagles should have lost that game. The refs, I think, gave it to them. I mean, but listen, at some point we have to just let point? the ref stuff go because the the refs have been like what, terrible this season. What makes you say that? Like, the, was there a specific the Josh Allen call? horse collar that wasn't called, but they got him on yeah, grounding on the same play? Like, that's kind of dog shit. The ref could see the grounding, but can't see the horse collar when you're standing right there. Yeah. I mean, um, let's be real, though. The there was a, the, the A.J. Brown fumble in overtime. He fumbled that. Oh. I didn't think that was a fumble. I'm they called it incomplete, but he took three steps and started to turn when they punched it out. So, listen, though. I agree with you and disagree because he bobbled it on his first step. So Okay. It I, was did, like, I might not have seen that. I was kind of just glancing over at it, but... What was the um why was there so many of those this weekend? The, I was gonna say there was what was so the, many catches and not fumbles and was fum- the next or, game? or fumbles. Yeah. Was that the Chargers? Yeah, uh, that, had same, that happened twice. So Keenan I, Allen. I had actually tweeted that. I said if AJ Browns was incomplete, this is incomplete. Yeah, too. they like, called you, Keenan Allen's a fumble. Yeah, and that was a that was a I think that one was incomplete pass. I yeah. think both of them were. There was two in that game. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but the Broncos, bro, they they are the hottest team in football. Matt says otherwise. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me get to Derek real quick. Dude, that was one of the worst games I've fucking watched in a really long time just for the fact we had a fourth round QB or fifth round QB play like a rookie, right? How What he's supposed to. Then we had fucking get hit clean. Philip Walker come in the game and play dog shit. What did you say? Bro, <laughs> hey, this, dude on, this dude on TikTok called him Pajama Walker and I can't stop thinking about it. I'm going to call him that now. Pajama, Pajama Walker. Walker. Sorry, yeah, because his ass was sleeping in the end zone. Was, <laughs> Did you really think that was a clean hit? At first look, yeah. When you sent me that picture, I was like, okay, he kind of hit him in the like, neck. But like, the first look, it looked super clean. Just because he led with this shit. Yeah, shoulder to shoulder. Let me take a second and, and say, high, like, though. there's a difference between real football that we grew up watching in the early 2000s, mid 2000s, you guys. That's a casual hit back then. Exactly, for sure. Like Ray Lewis would be in prison right now if he played. Yeah. But just so the we new, the new uh, facts. No, I mean, we got yeah. him on our, we had him on our team. We know. <laughs> I, I mean, he did shit in the late 2000s. He should have been. Right. Doing. But like by the new rules of protecting oh, yeah, for the sure. quarterback, hitting high, he did lead with his shoulder. But either way, his helmet made first contact. Yeah, obviously the helmet is the, sticking the up. The whole thing that gets kind of skewed for me though is like it says the rule is forceful contact to the head or neck area, mm-hmm. and he, it still looked like it was shoulder to shoulder more than it was shoulder. It was to like, like I mean, right, like, he, he was hit like, him, right, bro. Yeah. He hit him right, which here. is like slides yeah. up. You know what right. I'm saying? You can't hit somebody yeah. and stay in that exact spot. No, you hit your somebody and you're gonna slide up. up. And that that's why, like, to that's me, why like, his mouth was bleeding. I think because he just slid up. Yeah, he think he bit his tongue in half. Yeah. No, I think his helmet, like, I think he just busted his shit for real. Like, I think, like, he hit I mean, him and hard. he's jumping up. Okay. If you're, if no. you're jumping up, throwing, and that dude's still high, you know yeah. he was going high. I was about like, to say, <laughs> without a jump, bro, he probably hits him square in the forehead. Yeah. Like, so. you know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying that, like, there was this crazy, dirty head, and he should have been thrown out the game. Nothing like that. I still I just think it was whatever. a right call, calling rough in the passer by the standard of what the rules are now. All right, let's let yeah. Derek cook for a second. I'm in a bitch. I ain't cooking. Go ahead. I'm bitching. Go ahead. <laughs> so, Go ahead, because I heard. So, the Broncos, right? Hottest team in the NFL. No. Maybe. Because they played a really bad Cleveland Browns team. Facts. Mental mistakes. Terrible. So many fucking penalties that gave them into scoring range, right? Yep. How many drop passes did we have? A lot. Mm-hmm. Didn't help our rookie QB at all. Nope. Fumbled snaps. Fumbled balls. Fucking players getting hurt. Anything that could happen bad for the Browns happened for the for Browns. Sure. Go off. Our defensive drives, right? They put points on us, right? They had two 80-yard drives down the field. That was only in the first quarter. Since then, it was a punt, a punt, field goal. They gave up another touchdown, but that's when they had it at Cleveland's 20. Yeah. So you're already in the red zone. You're going to give up something. Yep. And then punt, field goal, punt, punt. Since the first quarter and not in fucking giving them in the Cleveland's 20-yard line, only field goals. Mm -hmm. So, like, our defense still played well. The Broncos offense still didn't look that good despite those two drives. Yeah, I mean, they. everyone knows if you watch football, if you watch any Browns games at all, the Browns is a, the Browns defense is a very good defense, but you can't run the ball with them. Like, we've seen it. I mean, Jalen Warren broke off a, what, 85-yard run, 78-yard, something like that. Yeah. 80-plus-yard run. Um, you can run on this Browns defense. 
But the thing is, one thing you normally don't do is run through the middle of this Browns defense. Most of the time, successful runs are outside. Samaji Piran looked like fucking LaDainian Tomlinson, Adrian Peterson, and Jim Brown all in one fucking human just running right through our fucking defense right up the middle. I mean, and to put that into perspective, they got the ball at the Cleveland 42. We made them punt there, too. Mm -hmm. Like, the defense was put in really shitty positions and still stopped Denver's offense. So... I still, I don't think Denver's that good still. I have a This is pretty crazy to see. Just in that game, the game leaders, Russ and DTR threw the, for the exact same yards, 134 and one touchdown. Mm -hmm. And Jerome Ford and Javante Williams both ran for 65 yards, but Javante had double the carries. If you look at that, whose offense is pretty damn close, right? Yeah. I mean, when you give them short fields... That's and then and we you had, still stop them. And we had a forty plus yard pass interference on third down to, that led to their first touchdown. Like, yeah. obviously you can't just remove parts of the game. Take away the pass interference, obviously, and if you don't give them a short field, obviously the game is much closer than what it is. You know what I mean? And then PJ Walker, he what he had two fumbles. I mean, we had that end around, which was a fumble. What you smiling for? With <laughs> Pajama Walker. I mean, we had an end around that was a fumble. Harrison Bro, Bryant fumble hey, snapped. Listen. Dude we said had we had so Pajama much Walker out yeah. there sleepwalking. Bro, and the thing, he didn't look ready. Like, he he and literally just, looked like he was on the bench sleeping. They're like, PJ, you're in. He's like, well, fuck, what? Me? <laughs> like, he he was just standing on the sideline talking Holy to Joe shit, the whole time. Holy shit, you guys time. had five fumbles. Yeah, that's yeah, and three of them you lost. Yeah, and you can't win the fumbles. game. Like PJ that. Walker had two, Harrison Bryant had one, Elijah Moore had one, and DTR had one. Yeah, you can't win the game. Like Pierre that. Strong had one too, but I don't know who they threw that on. They they recovered that one. No, we didn't. Oh, we didn't. No, I thought the that was end one around one where we oh, tried no, to that run that stupid ass play. Yeah, that was on uh, whoever was catching. I think that was Elijah Moore. That was and they wouldn't to try that. to toss it to. So, um, I try not to shit on Kevin Stefanski when he loses games. Because he's probably not celebrated enough when he wins games. But I have had problems with Kevin Stefanski since year one of getting too fucking cute. I will never forget last season when Matt texted me and said, Jacoby is in, is Deshaun hurt with a question mark? We played no at clue. one, you guys played at four. Yeah. And I just happened to turn the game on. Yeah, Matt didn't know what happened. He, didn't, he wasn't watching the game. He just seen that he had a pass attempt. And that was a clear case of Kevin Stefanski trying to get cute when it was fourth, fourth and one. one. You put in the QB sneak lord, <laughs> Jacoby Brissett, 90% success rate. And you fucking fake a QB sneak and throw a 40-yard bomb to DVJ in the back of the end zone and it sails out of bounds. Can I play something for you guys? No. Please. Before no. you do. Okay, go ahead. Give him some credit. You have a fifth round rookie QB. He's doing what he can. In an XFL quarterback. Like, but make the, there's but make nothing the game you could simple, really though. do. But make the game simple. The thing is, is you make Kevin it simple. Stefanski they... loves to forget that you can run the ball. Yeah, he was getting okay. freaky out there. Why? Doing triple reverses. They shit. showed it at one point. Trying to get big plays. They showed one point through 30 play calls. We had 20 pass attempts and 10 rush attempts. Our running backs have been the best part of our offense. All season long, even when Deshaun had good games. Why are we throwing the ball 20 times to Patrick Sertan, Justin Simmons with fucking DTR? That's just a clear example of you're being too fucking cute. Stick to the game plan, pound the fucking rock, don't smoke it, and call it a fucking day. Play me something, cuz. <laughs> All right. This is y'all the past 20 years. Hold on. Fucking sick and tired of this shit, man. I'm so fucking done. No matter how good the Browns have it, life always has to come and smack you right in the fucking face and let you know that they gotta come back down to earth because they're the Cleveland Browns. DTR looking great in the second half, looking like QB1 gets absolutely smoked in the fucking face because that's how it works as a Browns fan. And now we gotta rely on PJ Walker to win the game. Pajama Walker. <laughs> that dude sleepwalking out there. And now we gotta rely on 38 year old Joe Flacco and DTR can't go. Joe Flacco, are you kidding me? Five drops by receivers, veteran receivers. What are we doing out there? Calling for Kevin Stefanski also to be fired. Are you kidding me? Do you think he's designing plays to have Pierre Strong drop the ball? What are we talking about here? Said. Ridiculous. He didn't design it for him to drop the ball. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, we could just keep thinking about the game and it's just going to be fucking crazy. I'm so tired of this shit. I'm done. But I'll see you Sunday because I can't quit. 
Facts. Give, who, who was that? Shout out. See you Sunday because I can't quit. Who was that guy? Shout out to him for the. Is that Sir Yacht? Uh, Sir Yacht. That's who I thought it was. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so I have two questions, Derek. So don't come at me for fucking cussing out my team and then coming back. Listen, I do the same thing. I told you. This you is did, all based this, That's what you started the episode with. This Y'all is, are so corny, blah, blah, blah. No. Oh, you cuss them out. Now we're back. Now we're back. Let them know we back up. Yeah, let them know. We won. We back. We yeah. bike. Congratulations on winning your Super Bowl. Uh, Derek. <laughs> we win the Super Bowl a lot. Uh, Derek. More I times have, than second anybody most in NFL history, Tom Brady. Bitch. You, you I should, have yeah. two questions. Not recently. I have two questions. For you, You want to talk about recent? Is it time to pack the season in if Miles Garrett is hurt? Recently. Anyway, sorry. I'm, is it time to pack it in oh. if Miles Garrett is hurt? <laughs> what y'all packing in? Is it time to just pack the season up? Is it over? It's. <laughs> Don't say it. Don't say it, Derek. We're still in the playoffs. Relax. We're in the 60s. It's the still. life of a Browns fan. No QB1. No running back one. You're going to lose your best defensive player. Your best corner was out of the fucking game because he's always injury prone. Mm-hmm. It's over. The Browns season, it's fucking been over. So, I mean, since. Deshaun Watson has looked like I dog shit. I didn't fucking ask nope. you. No, nope. I have good news for you guys. Hold on. Since, the, the, since Deshaun Watson no has looked like dog shit, and since Nick Chubb has been hurt, there's there has been no hope since then. I was Is hoping Deshaun we Watson win done? games, but I didn't oh, think we were going to win anything past a wild card game. Okay, we could get lucky and win one wild card game. That's it. That's the thing, though. Our Cam standard Newton. is so low. Fuck winning it. Just making it is enough for me, bro. Like, I hate to say that, but like... I don't want to make it, bro. Just give me another draft pick and draft another we Justin don't have to get first You don't, round have, one. You don't have one. Oh, we yeah, don't have true. a first round pick. That's good. Then we don't draft another Justin Gilbert. Hey. Cam Newton? No. <laughs> no. Cam no. Newton? <laughs> no. <laughs> He's better than Joe Flacco. Listen. Ah. I'm not sure about that because yeah, I saw a TikTok. They did say that there's a real possibility where Joe Flacco starts on Sunday. Oh, I think, listen, at this point, yeah, I don't, I don't why care. not? I like, don't no, seriously, at that, because, but, listen, I like a veteran quarterback who doesn't make bad decisions. Joe he Flacco. makes a lot of bad decisions. But are you saying that from you knowing or are you just saying that because I'm of Joe Flacco? That. Give exactly. Joe Flacco. Like, though. Joe Flacco has never been known as a quarterback that just throws mad interceptions, has he? Give me a Joe Flacco. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Give me a Joe Flacco. I don't Flacco know his stats. All right, we got to switch this time. I don't know his stats because <laughs> he just, well, against us, he used to just throw that thing up there. It's Real quick, than, though, I don't want to say. Remember the Jacoby Jones? Oh, he and, throw that thing up there, and we don't fell. got fucking Amari Cooper. He broke his ribs, basically. I broke the news today. He Derek dropped the ball, too. And made him leave the, leave the group chat when I said that. Miles Garrett. You didn't make me. Everyone else made me too. I sent, Bro, he was texting I Dylan. Don't ask me to play Call of Duty. Don't text me. Don't Snapchat me. I'm going to fucking bed. Yeah. So I sent I him the post because everyone was coming at me, and I was sick of that shit. And uh, sick of it. I feel it. That's it was how about I felt Miles last Garrett week. hearing a pop. Well, in good news, Derek, you lift your spirits. You guys ever pop your dick before? Miles Garrett is completely fine. I, I don't believe it. That's what I read the tweet earlier. I don't remember who tweeted it. His buckle just popped on his shoulder strap. But good. yeah, the the strap yeah, just, it just, just popped a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody sure. said that Miles Garrett will be completely fine. I don't think he's going to be completely fine cuz you guys know like Yeah, Joe players, Flacco's a turnover nobody's machine. Nobody's ever played through Nobody's ever completely yeah. fine. Joe Injuries, Flacco's so. a turnover machine. <laughs> I, I, I just looked yeah. I got to like, say no I know he's in less than 12. <laughs> yeah, he's a turnover machine. I take that back. Keep him the fuck on the he bench now. He got fucking carried by that defense. I, bro. Bro. I wasn't saying Joe Flacco was good. Like Alex I know Smith what got carried by playmakers and he never pushed the ball down I know what you were trying to say. turned it over. PJ Walker's a He's a game manager. Joe Flacco's not really a game manager. No, he's not. He's I don't want to say gunslinger. He thinks he's a gunslinger. Yeah. All right, we got to switch topics. We're running short on time. Hey. Um, fuck the Browns. Yeah, hey. y'all back. I know. Um, what? <laughs> Why are you so upset? Because he knows what you're going to say. I'm upset. I just want you to put the word back out. <laughs> we back yeah, okay. up. Okay. Um, we back up. All right. What was my question? Fuck. I had a question. You made me lose it. Uh, all right, Derek. Go to yours. I don't know if it sent through, but I sent it did. in the group chat. Yeah. So... Blind eye test. Look at these two QBs. I mean, I'm going to start with Dante for us and go around the room. But look at these two QBs and just tell me which one you would take. So give a second to to look at it, process everything on there as Matt rubs his leg. <laughs> um. So I know who these two quarterbacks are. Don't say it, but... 
I know who QB2 is, but I don't know who QB1 is. No, I don't know. QB, who I was thinking was wrong. Never mind. That's not cute. That's not who I thought it was. Um, Try don't think of who it is. No, I'm not. But like, I, there was <laughs> yeah. a, there was two specific stats that I seen that I, I literally ma- just seen, and I, that's why I knew who it was. I know other things matter besides stats, but just yeah. looking at the stats. Um, I mean, just looking at the stats, I, f- I gotta go QB two. Okay, Matt. See, I don't know about that. <laughs> I mean, I see why I, I see why you're saying that. Like, I, I see why you're saying that. Ah. <sighs> Like yeah, sweet. He were, That's why I had to put. He threw 194 game. touchdowns, sweet. But he also threw 123 picks. If you look at those percentages, though, that touchdown interception ratio is probably exactly the same, as far as percentage goes. Because yeah, it, it it's probably really close. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going QB two. Okay, Matt. Uh yeah, they're both 1.5. I don't know. I really the reception ratio. don't mind QB1, but I guess I'll go two. QB2, I feel like I have to go with, but that's Lamar, right? No, QB2 is Cam. That's Cam. QB2 okay. is Cam. Do you guys know who QB1 is? No, I don't. I, I thought I I thought I knew. I don't, though. At first, so I, at Cam first was I thought sweet was, at one point. Cam was really good at one, at one point. point. Yeah, his MVP Until campaign. Watt ruined his career. QB1 was Mike Vick. Mm. Ah. So nice. They're pretty close. And the reason mm. I did this is, you know, Cam Newton. Do you think he's a Hall of Famer? He said he's a Hall of Famer. Imagine if Mike Vick didn't think go Cam, to do you think Cam didn't go to prison? Hall of Famer? I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. No. No, I think, don't. Do you no. think Mike Vick's a Hall of Famer? No. No. I don't. Okay. I don't think either one of those dudes accomplished enough. Um Three time Pro Bowl, one time All Pro, one time MVP. That's a pressure. I think Mike Vick paved the way. Mike Vick won't be allowed in the Hall of Fame. But you know what? I know that's not the question. You know what pisses me off about this, though? Not this specific thing, but like bringing up Mike Vick is like that Lamar just passed him in Mm -hmm. some fastest player to. Yeah, for so many rushing yards. Fastest player to 5,000 rushing yards. He had like 88 games or some shit. Mm -hmm. That shit pisses me off so much because like. I watched Michael Vick like growing up. Like I was a, at a very good age to watch him. What was that? Oh mm-hmm. four. I was a freshman. Like mm-hmm. I was really into football, bro. They didn't want him to run the ball. Mm-mm. And the Ravens design. The Ravens have a designed offense for Lamar Jackson. They, I'm not hating on Lamar at no, by the any means, but there's a reason. Running. Yeah, there's a reason that it's only been 88 games when they run power left with the quarterback. That shit's fun. You know what I mean? Like, they told Mike Vick, you got to stop running, bro. Facts. Like, imagine if he was running that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm saying, bro. And he was insane, (laughs) bro. Crazy. Um, Before we wrap up, that was my question. Um, Let's just try to make this quick. It's 1050. We're getting low on time. Um, Who the fuck, bro? Never mind. Who do we think is the best team in the AFC currently? Not the Broncos. Matt. Um, <laughs> you, I, actually, I'll go first real quick because I was going to phrase the question like. Matt said, we are fucking back. I was going to say, is this team the best team in the AFC? If not, who? But I didn't want to sway you guys. Um, for me, I think the best team in the AFC is the Baltimore Ravens. I want you to put the word back out. We back up. Derek, who is the best team in the AFC? <clears throat> I was coming to you, but you said that for sure again. Um. I'd say I, I have to go Ravens, too. I think they have one of the best defenses in the NFL. So just with that and then the fact that their offenses can score from anywhere with the qu- quarterback running, fucking what's his name that has the most rushing touchdowns in the NFL right now? Gus Edwards. Gus Edwards. And Keaton Mitchell's fast as fuck. Yeah, so I I think. But they still suck. Still think they're the best AFC team. Jordan, who do you think is the best team in the AFC? I think I got to say Ravens, too. I, I would love to say Chiefs, but they start too slow, and that's not going to work against a team like the Ravens. So, like, Yeah, you go down 14 nothing against the fucking Raiders. You can get back in the game. Raiders fucking blow. I cashed out that bet, too. I had the Raiders plus 14 and a half. And <laughs> right, when they went out, right when they went up 14, my cash out was sexy. I took that bitch, and then I was like, ah. they gave it that lead real quick. And I'm like, ah, you know what? Fuck it. Who do you think is the best team in the AFC, Matthew? Uh, don't you know what? 
Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do what? I'm not going to say the Steelers, man. Chill out. I want to see something real quick. Mm. What are you looking? There's another team that has a legit. Yeah, I. God, fuck. You talking about the Dolphins? Yeah, I really want to say the Dolphins, but they just lost that uh, Jalen Phillips. There's a dark horse that I was actually thinking of. The Jaguars? Texans about to take them out. They got lucky. I was going to say, they just lost them. They got, man. It, yeah, that was a really good game. They was on CJ Stroud's ass that last fucking drive. I was like, CJ, the throw NFL, the ball away, bro. You about to get hurt. <laughs> NFL gave that game to the Jags, too. Listen. Tank Dell had two catches. In oh, the bro, that one was really bad. Bad call. Yeah. That was bad. It happened to DJ Moore. It happened to Amari <laughs> Cooper, where they're clearly in bounds. And that, we've seen it happen too many times. Did you guys watch the Who's field? the best team in the NFL? Did yes. you? I said Dolphins, bro. Oh, you said you wanted to say Dolphins. But... Dolphins. Miami Dolphins in yes. the AFC. I watched that. Field did goal. everybody watch the field goal? Yes. Where the fuck did the ball go? <laughs> <laughs> it, it hit it and kicked like straight back. Yeah. So you didn't see it in the camera. It looked like it hit it. What do you mean it kicked straight back? It went like down. Like, <laughs> like so you, it wasn't in the frame anymore. It went immediately yeah. out of the frame. You're talking about the camera that was behind the goalpost? Yeah, bro. Where the yeah. fuck did the ball did go? Did you watch the second angle? No, I only watched that one. It came in and just went like this and then just shot like straight back where it came from. <laughs> I feel like we would have saw it come back. <laughs> the I'm way sitting there watching, waiting for it to come back down. I'm like, Matt's like, this shit rigged, bro. The ball just did Where did the ball go? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit and i watched a play i watched a tiktok the other day of uh players that disappeared and it wasn't like they disappeared from the face of the earth like during a play and davion's run was in that versus byu where like he just disappeared and you just seen him running up the sideline there was a bunch of them we're talking about Najee? uh not yeah Najee had that one and i then, texted uh, i texted matt after that play and i said that reminded me of davion's run and he just sent back the uh straight face gang i'm pretty salty that uh i had to release him in fantasy and D-Bake picked them up. But um, that's Did all. Him? No. Not, <laughs> not yeah. That motherfucker ain't available in fantasy. Be, <laughs> is he? Big Ben is. Hell no. All right, guys. That's all for this week's episode of Barbershop Break Room. We'll catch you guys next week. Peace. Peace.